Oh. I was trying to get down in here with bear. Give y'all a perspective how big he is. Oh. Bear, come on. Come on, bear. Come over here and lay down. What are you doing? He's a big dog. Hold on. Let me get over there. I'm in here with you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna need a bath in here. But he's a big dog. He's a good dog, though. Thank you, Bear. This is where they like laying down when it's super hot sometimes. Wind's not blowing good. If the wind's blowing good, they get up in that hayloft. Bear. Whew. It's a hot one, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's my bear. I guess he's tired. Oh. I love it down here on this part of the property. All the springs over on the other side of the dam dried up, but we've still got some springs over on this side. You see, I'll show you one of them. Now, over on my brother's property, over to the left, he's got a spring. It's a good two, three feet in diameter. And it's been boiling water out of there, foot and a half deep for um, all my life. I don't have any real big springs, but there's that spot right there coming out of the ground. It flows 24-7, 365 days a year. Got a little tiny creek. If we were getting bad times, I'll dig that area out, out right in there and box it up. I'll have me some good, fresh, clean spring water. But there's a number of different, there's a little spring. Well, back up in these woods here, I'd be willing to guess there's a half dozen or a dozen little springs. You always got to watch though for snakes. Here for a long time, I would kill about eight or ten rattlesnakes and moccasins every summer down here. You got to be watching. Like I just hit something right there. Oh, get that spider wheel. What kind of spider is that? Get that spider web on my head.
You don't want to get bit by no spider neither. We just got all kinds of different plants in here. Now this winter I did a lot of work back over in here clearing that area out and back over on the other property. I'm supposed to be retired, but dang if I ain't working full time around this place. But I found out that I had some poisonous plants on my property. Trying to make sure I don't get over on a snake. Uh-oh, I forgot about the June bugs. We also call them yellow flies. They come out every, um, end of every May and June. And I'm poisonous to them. Or they're poisonous to me. Let me put it that way. This is what I was going to show you. These are poisonous sumac plants. I've been trying to cut a bunch of them down. I've killed a bunch of them that was back in this earth. We had been in such a drought this winter. I started cutting a lot of this stuff out and throwing it down and the sheep would eat it. I got to get back down here and clean some of this mess up. Yeah, that ground, what it is, they'll dig down in that ground, they'll hit them some moist soil. <coughs> Look at these vines. I call them Tarzan vines. They go way up in that tree. But they'll lay there and cool off. I'm going to turn this off and suit up and get ready to take another walk here. <laughs>